Pushrod Fury. All right, that was night four of the trip, and now it's time to go get some uh, real breakfast. So we're gonna leave, um, now it's time to get some real breakfast. I'm gonna leave here, I think I found a little spot down the road, and we are only about two, two and a half hours from our next destination, so it's not gonna be a hell ride like yesterday. <laughs> yesterday I think was 10 hours of riding, it was ridiculous. So, off we go. Holy smokes. It's really easy to gravitate towards the negative, but... Yeah, let's just leave it at that. Alright. Got a couple hours of riding before we get to the next destination. Maybe we'll find some decent lunch. Alright, we'll see you then. I just happened upon the Missouri State Fair and free motorcycle parking and half price admission. So I had to stop, check things out. Um, there's some people that have ridden with me in the past and know I'm a sucker for free motorcycle parking. So that's worth it. Anyway, I'll take a look around. Anything interesting pops up, I'll let you know. There's a, supposed to be a car race later today. I'll check that out, see if it's something that we want to see. All right. Let's see, what, let's see what this thing has in store for us. All right, Pushrod Fury here. I'm at the Missouri State Fair with Larry hey, from Jaeger doing? Cycle. Jaeger Cycle. A and uh, Larry's been kind enough to show me around this Pan America, and we're going to take a look at that. I'm going to show you some of the features that I really like about it. And uh, man, boy, it's getting the juices flowing for what the next set of wheels might be. But let me, I mean, you guys have seen all this. It's not news from me, but a couple of things that uh, I thought were just really well thought out. The first thing is the seat, and I know there's a bunch of videos on this, but how rapidly you can change the height of the seat. Uh, that's working out for me. The riding position, so it's, it's a nice neutral position. I can tell as soon as I sit on this, it's 10 times more comfortable than the BMW. Another thing is I want to applaud Harley for adopting standard switch gear. I just couldn't learn that Sportster switch gear so many times, you know, someone does some maneuver I don't care for. I give him the horn and really I just gave him my left turn signal. So that didn't work out so great for me. But I wanted to show you, sure enough, standard switch gear, the horn's where my brain remembers it. Normal turn signal setup. And this bike is just absolutely gorgeous. 
So we'll see. I'm gonna arrange a test ride uh, when I get back to New Jersey and uh, see if we can get one of these things exercised. So just a quick blurb about the uh, Harley-Davidson Pan America and we're gonna go around the rest of the state fair and see what else we can find. So why, why do I need this? So this is the highest level of redneck technology on the market, okay? We're basically one step beneath the iPhone over here. Elon Musk has a car that could drive itself. I have a koozie that you could fish with right here. Point the sticker where you want to cast it, pitch it out, grab your slack, tip it back, and reel them in cold. Right there, guys. I love it. Thank you. That's amazing. Thank you. That is absolutely perfect, especially for like someone on the road on a motorcycle. They don't have room for, for a I mean, bunch of gear. Traveling, you know, you're going on a trip that's not a fishing trip, but you still want to fish. You know, you're taking the family to the beach, you're floating down the river with a bunch of college buddies. You know, you're not planning on taking your poles out, but you still want to pitch a line right there. You got Ron Popeil's got nothing on you guys, does he? Do what? I said Ron Popeil's got nothing on you guys. Not a dang thing, <laughs> man. I love it. Well, I'm going to take one then. You sold Absolutely. it. Absolutely. <laughs> got to get a refreshment or frozen pineapple treat. There we go. Don't worry, there's no booze in there. I couldn't handle it anyway. Alrighty, there we go. This mask gotta come off to enjoy this. And look, for being extra special, I got two cherries. All right, let's see. That hits the spot. That's really good. Whew, it's a cooker. So that about does it for the Missouri State Fair. But, uh, you know, not. Not too terribly exciting, but a lot of fun, especially meeting those guys from the uh, the fishing koozie and uh, the fishing koozie group. I can't remember the name, but I'll mention it later. Just big characters and the uh, the hula hoop tricks. Those are pretty good, and I got my pineapple fix. So of course you you know you got to come to Missouri to get pineapples. So we'll uh, continue the trip. All right, back on the road. All right, that's, uh, I guess, phase one of the journey is uh, get to Kansas City. So here we are, uh, did an Airbnb because, quite frankly, you gotta earn some bread to pay for this trip, right? So you gotta work, uh, just like everybody else, doing a lot of remote work. So I'm gonna work here, this will be my home base in Kansas City. Gotta explore the food scene, get some real barbecue, some real steaks and get well fed enough of this like funky barely edible food i've seen on the road try to give them a fair break but man oh man don't even get me started so try to find some decent food for some reason food videos drive me crazy but if i run into something good i'll show you i also wanted to show you this and i'll share the airbnb uh, link on my on my channel there in the description for the video 
but the closet is set up for drying out your camping gear. Look at that. So everything will be fresh or, you know, as aired out as possible after uh, I've sweated in it for, you know, four nights. So keeping things from getting too gamey, wash all my nasty clothes. Everything's been sweated through. You don't even want to know what those boots smell like. I mean, those things I need to call in an airstrike on them. I mean, they're terrible. So I'll wash those. Thank goodness. Anyway, that's that. Let me go find some food. If there's anything interesting, I'll share it with you. All right. Thanks for tuning in.